here this most wonderful moment of my life. My son was just born. So there I am in the delivery room, which is our, now the norm in, 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 in North America and Europe for the man to be present for the birth. It's a wonderful thing. So there I am in the delivery room, and my son had been born for five seconds, and I didn't yet know if it was a boy or a girl. Now, you must think at this point that the speaker from Canada is really stupid if he didn't know if it was a boy or a girl. But the reason I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl is because at that moment, I had so many tears in my eyes from crying that I could not see the little thing. <laughs> And I mean, when I say the little thing, I mean the little thing on the little thing. I didn't know if it was a boy or a girl until the nurse spoke. Now imagine this. Until this moment, the nurse had been speaking in her normal voice, and suddenly her voice dropped down really deep, and she said, It's a boy. What a strong little fellow. I was totally shocked. Not because it was a boy. I'd taken high school biology. I knew there was a 50-50 chance it was a boy, but I was shocked by the change in her voice, and I was shocked by what she said and how she said it. And I knew, and I knew that if it had been a girl, her voice would have gone up even higher, and she would have said, it's a girl, she's so beautiful. But it's a boy, so he's a strong little thing. My son was five seconds old, and he was being measured for his first football uniform. Now. Can you imagine, since you were born, either being treated like ho oh, or kushkamushku? That is going to do something to your head. <laughs>